you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about who you are? I'm Luciano and I'm involved in an independent media collective called Cine Rebelde, which is based in Freiburg. And we are basically producing different documentaries on uh, social change issues, environmental issues, and also cooperating a lot with different collectives around the world and producing multilingual DVDs, which we distribute over internet and within different networks around Europe. So you made a film in 2006 about the climate camp. Why did you make a film about the climate camp? Well, initially, I've been very much inspired by the British uh, Eco Direct Action Movement in the 90s. And after the Glen Eagle Summit, uh, the Jade Summit in 2005, I sort of got in touch with people that told me that there was going to be this climate camp. And to be honest, I came without any particular expectations. I just grabbed my camera and thought I'd just come to, to drag uh, to the camp and just have a look. And then uh, I was part of a very interesting process that was kicking off. And I decided, oh, I need to make a really good documentary out of this. And put a lot of work into gathering material and to documenting the different aspects of the camp, the action and yeah, so I basically tried to um, to incorporate the three aspects of this camp which are educational but also the infrastructure that is climate friendly and also the confrontation with the, for example, the coal power station. Okay. So, um, so, so, so did this camp remind you of your, this, this, this 90s protest? Do you think it's a rebirth of this 90s protest? Movement. Well, the, there is definitely something that is very particular to the British political culture within it. But um, yeah, I think there's uh, th th this. It reminded me of there's a spirit that is quite similar, and it has it definitely has a, a contagious kind of uh, effect on other people. Yeah. So, can you tell us a little bit about some of your experiences while while shooting the film at Drax? Um, well, it wasn't that easy to film at the camp itself, um, but still, I mean, I've been to other camps, so other situations around Europe where activists are very, very touchy about the issue of being filmed. But still, I, I thought the the camp at Drax was, um, I mean, they, they had a, stra a strategy of communication in mind, so somehow the, I felt people were very supportive in in you know making sure that we could document things and also during the protest and yes there's a, r a relation of trust and so i could um i could i think get an insight into most of of the, the aspects of the camp i wish i had had more footage about the infrastructure itself but um yeah i mean i did with what i had <laughs> Did you get a lot of footage of other people? Some other activists. We had the in the media tent, and um, yeah, we pulled um, photographs together, and we pulled uh, footage. Yeah, obviously, I wasn't able to do the the three or four different groups that um, went at different uh, no, at the same time, but through different routes on the day of action. So yeah, we basically exchanged material and pulled it all together, and then yeah, I went back with about 15 hours of footage. Yeah. And an important issue for me as well was to do a translation of it. So it could be one of my motivations of doing this film is generally to transport um, something that is happening in one political context to other countries or other parts of the world. So the idea was to subtitle it into French, Spanish and also German. And uh, that took some time as well. But I think it was pretty fruitful and a good idea to do it because um, if, if you now we have, you know, two years later, the, in 2008, there are about a dozen or 10 or 12 climate camps happening around the world. And um, also in Germany, for example, where I was spreading the film quite a lot. As well. So, so you made DVDs and how did you find the, the how, how did you find using DVDs as a means of distribution and did you use web as well so yeah well we yes I think the so far at least you know we're not specialists in technology and stuff like that but the, the DVD is very useful uh, to spread and uh, it it was released under Creative Commons so the movement was able to to distribute it uh, by itself at the same time we 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 do sell our DVD because um, we, we need to generate some kind of income in order to finance our activities so we have a policy of you know people are free to copy it and but uh, at the same time we expect them somehow to to return some money f from the movement uh, to, for our work and we have like a system of different prices so people can voluntarily just select the one they feel is more adapted to their income and uh, yeah and support our work that way. 
did you make the money back from making the DVD? Yeah, so more or less, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. I think we we actually, yeah, we covered all the expenses, the printing costs, and so on. And and in general, we we managed to you know keep a pretty good equipment and finance travel costs or things like that. Yeah. And so, who's seen the film? Where's it been shown? What sort of distributions it had? Well, it's it's difficult to tell. Now, for example, you just told me it's been uh, downloaded from your vision on TV and so on. Um, I think it went also on Free Speech TV in the US. It's been on a couple of festivals, uh, like Globale in, in Germany in Berlin. It's been on in Norway. I made a 15 minutes version out of it as well, which was on a festival in Norway. Um, it's been basically around the world, Australia, it basically with, with these languages I've spoken. A uh, very interesting part where it was screened was Venezuela, because I basically included a chapter in the film where I was making a link of where the coal actually comes from. And we had a participant from the camp um, who had been in Venezuela and she was talking about her experience and created a good link about the, the effect of communities in Venezuela and, and the, the situation at Drax or in this case here the power plant and um, so it, I, w I gave the v DVD to some activists that uh, were going they came from Venezuela but were touring around Europe and they showed it to the indigenous communities there and um, apparently it, you know just the idea of indigenous communities uh, portrayed in the film seeing that uh, there are activists in Europe also opposing um, this uh, the coal and the coal industry is just an inspiring thought for me. <laughs>